Okay, so let's go on with that texture for that outer ring, um, with that little triangle here created. Um, yeah, let's uh, move the pivot here to the center of the grid. So hit D and then X and middle mouse over the center of the grid. And let's check out if the size is right. If we rotate that guy here to the other uh, parts where um, the triangles here are um, kind of like single. So let's uh, rotate that guy here into position. Let's uh, zoom in on that. And let me turn on X-ray mode. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, yeah, the size comes close to the background image. Okay. So let me rotate that back in Y to zero. And now we go on here and um, yeah, start to um, copy that over uh, as many times as we need uh, that. Um, and then we'd um, yeah use the degrees that I uh, put on that JPEG that I showed you in the last video. So, um, all right, let's uh, switch to to um, real quick to that um, JPEG. So I need uh, definitely one at twenty seven point five and then fifty one two two five here. So let me do that. So hit Control D. And yeah, one here at 51.25. And um, yeah, you will notice that uh, if you type in those degrees here, yeah, uh, it's not sitting exactly on top of what you see in the background image. But yeah, don't um, don't get afraid. <laughs> um, th that's uh, yeah, that's normal. Uh, if you just take take the numbers here from that JPEG, and it's all good. So if we miss one here that. At 27.5 degrees, so hit Control D, type in 27.5. So and I will do this uh, all the way around. Um, so uh, duplicating those um, triangles here, uh, everywhere where, where they should be. Okay, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I um, copied all those little triangles um, over where they should be. And like I said before, if you look at this, um, it's not sitting here exactly on, on those pieces, but yeah, in the end, nobody will notice that. Okay, so now let's uh, take care about those little uh, boxes here. And again, let's uh, create a, a polygon plane here. Let's uh, move this up here, that plane to somewhere where it's meant to be. Um, let's dial down the subdivisions here to one again. And um, yeah, those obviously have a little bit, have to be a little bit smaller. Um, something like this. Okay. Now let's uh, move the pivot here to the center of the grid as well. Hit D, X and middle mouse. And then let's uh, rotate that uh, into a position so that we can check out if uh, the overall size is good here. Okay, let's go in here. So those fit in here. Okay, let's move it somewhere here. Mm could do is go to vertex mode and move those up here move those up a little bit here let's take that guy let's rotate that to check out the size comes close um, okay so See here, those um, down here are a little bit longer. Um, yeah, but let's just um, yeah, let's take the, this one here and um, rotate it back to zero and Y. So let's take this one and we will copy that into position uh, with the numbers from that JPEG that I created, and we will do this here um, until we get to the point. Uh, down here to this one 
and then we will create some uh, other ones um, or some longer ones and put those uh, to the degrees here um, where they sh where they should be okay so yeah um, so I type in here and the first one uh, is 5.5 .5 in Y and then um, yeah again I will duplicate that um, with that uh, with those numbers that I have on that JPEG okay so yeah let me pause the video again and I'll be back when I'm done with that okay so here I'm back here with all those little boxes or this little planes uh, created so yeah I took a little larger one here and uh, put those uh, where they are on that JPEG with those degrees and this is how it looks right now so now let's go in and take care about that um, yeah that circle here that's in there so there's this uh, black line here that that circle type here is going down so let's um, do this uh, with a polygon pipe first so create that and then scale that up and uh, yeah let me turn on x-ray mode and then let's uh, go here to the thickness and let's uh, change that and then let's uh, scale it down check that out here um, oops um, can do that so let's go here to the thickness again so click on that and then control middle mouse to something like this 0 .00, uh, 0 0.01 and then scale that guy in and then let's uh, say subdivisions on caps let's dial that up to something like 4 and then hit uh, 3 on the keyboard okay and let's give it some subdivisions uh, on the axis let's uh, dial in a fairly high number something like 80 and then hit 3 on the keyboard so you get a nice round shape here okay so now what we need to do is um, yeah we obviously we take a look at that hit 3 on the keyboard and then um, I scale that down so that it comes here right on top of that line in the background or on the background image let me check that out here let's look in I don't want the box here so let's scale it down just a tiny bit more just a tiny bit more like that then zoom in on that so yeah I want uh, that those boxes here are not overlapping okay so now what we do now is um, we go here to perspective what we need to do is here yeah, we can uh, go to low poly view and let's delete all the faces here down here and delete those now with that object selected here let's center the pivot and let's move it here in X on the grid so snap it there and um, yeah let's now go in and um, see where it starts and where it ends so definitely we need to select all the faces here from this point on so it's hard to see for you but select all those faces here delete those and we can go in here and delete those as well then zoom in on that <coughs> and then we take those verts here and bring those back until here and um, now let's take this guy here and rotate that into position so that we have some kind of straight line here something like that well let me first pause the video and I'll be back in the next one